So I'm about to show you some sick features on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 that some phones just don't have. From camera tricks to multitasking, fast navigation and some quick tips, these are my top features for the Galaxy Z Fold 2 along with some awesome free wallpapers. So let's get into it! One of the coolest things about the Z Fold 2 is all the different cameras you can use on this phone thanks to the Fold. So first up, if you open up the camera and then open up your Fold, the entire screen becomes your viewfinder. But if you click on this little icon, it'll actually show you a preview of your previous picture and move all the dials and controls to the right hand side so it's just a little bit easier to take a picture. Then also another really nifty feature is folding the phone into flex mode and having the camera face whatever you want to shoot. As you can see, when it enters flex mode, the viewfinder is on the top and all your dials and controls are towards the bottom. This is really cool because it acts more like a tripod so you can get some really stable crisp shots. Now check this out. Even though the Fold has a selfie cam on the inside as well as a selfie cam on the front of the phone, if you want to take a really pro selfie, just head on over to the camera app and click on this little icon right over there. Then what you do is you open up the entire phone now to use the main cameras to take your pro selfie. Now, the multitasking on this phone is kind of mind-blowing and let me show you why. If you open up the edge screen panel and click, hold down and drag an app onto the screen, as you can see, there are various sections on the screen where you can drop the application. Not only that, you can then go ahead and add another application to split screen it even further. By using these three dots, you can also resize the windows to whatever you want. And then to switch applications, click, hold down and drag the app and automatically they'll switch. If that wasn't enough, you can still go ahead, close all the applications on the left hand side so you have access to your entire home screen. I'm not gonna lie, taking screenshots on this device is pretty awkward because you need to take your two fingers and click the volume down and fingerprint reader at the same time. It also applies for the center of the phone. If you wanna take a screenshot of this screen, you gotta do the same action. But if you take the palm of your hand and swipe it over the screen like that, it quick and easily takes a screenshot and you can do the exact same thing on the home screen. Just swipe over, it takes a screenshot and now in your gallery, you'll have all your screenshots from both the center screen and home screen. The keyboard modes on the Z Fold 2 are kind of ridiculous because you have so many different ones to choose from. First up, you get the split keyboard, but if you want to join it, just click that icon and the bam, you have one solid keyboard. Then if you want a floating keyboard, you just tap on that icon and hello, you have a floating keyboard. Next up in the keyboard settings, you can adjust the style and layout by heading on over to modes and deciding on which keyboard you'd like to be your default when the phone is closed, open or in landscape. And if you still want some keyboard Keyboard options, just click on that little icon, toggle over to Gboard, and now you have the Google keyboard. So whatever your personal preference is, there is certainly a keyboard for you. So obviously, because the Z Fold 2 has such a steady hinge system, you can watch content in a number of different ways. So as I've already shown you guys, you get flex mode where you can place your phone down like this and then just adjust the tilt of the screen for the best viewing angle. Or what you can do to switch it up a bit is go into tent mode and view your content like that. Pretty cool. Then, just like other Samsung flagships, even though the Z Fold 2 Fold, you can still use wireless power share. You just swipe down on the notifications panel and make sure you toggle it on. Then close your Fold, place it face down and gently place the other device, whether it's Buds, your watch or another phone, on top and instantly it'll start charging. Pretty cool. And by default, the 120Hz on the Galaxy Z Fold 2 should be active straight out of the box, but you can turn it on and off by heading into the display settings and then under motion smoothness, make sure it's on adaptive, click apply, and now you've got 120Hz. By far, the best way to see what a difference 120Hz makes is watching it in slow-mo. As you can see on the right, it is so much more responsive and buttery smooth. 
Another quick tip is how you can make the fingerprint reader on this phone so much easier to use. Under biometrics and security, make sure you tap on the fingerprints option and then once you've popped in your pin and you're in, go ahead and toggle on fingerprint always on. This then easily allows you to wake up the screen and unlock your phone just by tapping the fingerprint reader. Another thing you can do under settings is click on advanced features and in there scroll down until you see motions and gestures. Toggle on fingerprint sensor gesture and what this does is when you swipe down on the fingerprint reader it opens up the notification panel. I absolutely love edge screen lighting and it's so easy to access now by just swiping down on the notification panel, then click and hold down on it and now you can toggle it on and then access other custom settings. As you can see, there are a bunch of different effects to choose from and once you've done that, you can then go ahead and change the color. I always love to go for something bright so I can easily see the notification when it comes through. Then under advanced settings, you can change a couple more things like transparency, width and duration. Once that is done, then you can choose what application will display this edge screen lighting effect when a notification comes through. So I just popped it on WhatsApp and my emails. And now whenever I get an email or WhatsApp, this epic edge screen lighting effect appears. It makes it so easy for me to realize I have a notification and I just love it. Now here is a really cool trick if you want to save a ton of time and open up three separate apps in multiple windows at the exact same time and multitask like a beast. All you're going to do is open up the first application that you want in your split screen. Then open up the edge panel and add your second app. You guessed it, go ahead and add your third application to the window. And then what you're going to do is click on these three little dots right in the center and select this icon. Straight away, it'll save this exact same up with these applications in your edge screen menu as you can see right over there and now next time when you're on your home screen and you want to quick and easily access those apps tap on that icon and you're good to go So if you still didn't think your screen was big enough, then definitely an awesome feature to check out on the Z Fold 2 is wirelessly connecting it to a smart TV using Samsung DeX. It's so quick and easy to do, you just swipe down on the notification panel and toggle that DeX icon. Then click start now, it'll automatically connect to your TV and you're done. So now what you can do is then swipe down on the notification panel and you'll see this option that says use your phone as a touchpad. If you tap on that, your phone literally becomes the touchpad and you can control everything with the cursor. Then if you want to take things one step further, you can wirelessly connect a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to your phone so that you can easily move files, music, movies, pictures, you name it, and also type out notes or emails with a lot more ease. So this is definitely a cool feature that you have to try. On to some useful tips and did you know this front home screen can have a completely different and custom wallpaper to that of the unfolded middle screen. So as you can see when I unfold my phone it has a different wallpaper and when I close it again it has that beautiful blue one. Then if you head on over to settings and under display scroll down until you see navigation bar, tap on that and in here you'll be able to decide whether you want buttons or swipe gestures. Regardless of which one you prefer what you can also do is double tap that reset to toggle between your most recent applications or if you go for the swipe gestures you can just swipe on this bottom bar to change between applications. So finally I do have some really cool wallpapers for you guys that you can download from my website. I'll have a link down below in the description box. They are completely free and I had so much fun making them and they also tie in really well with the fold of the phone so definitely check them out. But if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe. We're on the road to 1 million and I appreciate every single sub. You can also check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!